Hi, I'm Jennifer Vashon, the lynx biologist with the Maine Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife. And I'm Corey Mosby, the fur bearer biologist with the Maine Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife. And we're both here today to tell you all how to avoid capturing a lynx, how to identify a lynx from other fur bearers, what to do in the event of a lynx capture, and what to expect as the department responds to an incidental lynx capture. Lynx are found primarily in northern and western Maine, specifically wildlife management districts 1 through 11, 14, 18, and 19. Lynx are often associated with forested habitats that are going to support their prey, snowshoe hare, specifically uh, softwood forests that provides dense cover for their prey. Lynx, unlike canids that you're going to be targeting while you're trapping, are visual predators where they focus on visual cues when pursuing prey. And as a visual predator, there's several things that we can do as trappers to avoid capturing a lynx in the first place. First, avoid using visual attractors such as flagging, bones, CDs, or other attractants. In fact, Maine law prohibits the use of visual attractors during the early fox and coyote season and also requires bait to be covered at all times. You can find the full text of the law in the Trapping Law Book and on our website at mefishwildlife.com. You can also avoid catching lynx and body gripping traps by using an exclusion device. Aside from a few exceptions, lynx exclusion devices are required when setting body gripping traps on dry land statewide. If you're looking for more details on how to construct an exclusion device, you can find the video online on the department website at mefishwildlife.com and there are also written plans complete with diagrams on how to build them. It's easy to distinguish a lynx from a bobcat as they have a few distinct features. Lynx have a completely black tip tail. They have long ear tufts that are generally an inch or longer in length. They also have noticeably larger feet that seem disproportionately large to their body. There are several modifications that you can make to your foothold traps to minimize injury to lynx. Currently, IFNW requires that all foothold traps set on dry land statewide have certain modifications. First, the chain must be centrally mounted to the base of the trap. All of these traps need to have three swiveling points, one where the chain connects to the trap, one midway down the chain's length, and one at the anchoring point. Additionally, in WMDs 1 through 11, 14, 18, and 19, you are not allowed to use drags. Instead, all traps must be staked solidly to the ground and their catch circles clear of any woody vegetation and debris that would cause entanglement. If you accidentally catch a lynx in one of your traps, you are required by law to immediately report that capture to the department official prior to removing the animal from the trap. During the trapping season, we operate a phone line 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for you to report to a department official your capture by calling 207-592-4734 and we'll be happy to assist you. When you call the Lynx hotline and speak to one of our staff, please be ready to provide us with the following information. Where the trap with the Lynx is located, where would you like to meet with us, and how we can reach you and your contact information in the event that we need to talk to you before we arrive on site. Once we have this information, a biologist and a game warden will be dispatched to the location in order to assess the situation. Until we arrive, it's important that you try and minimize disturbance to the lynx. Even if the animal looks calm, do not approach the animal. Once on scene, department staff will sedate the animal, perform a health assessment, and if applicable, treat any injuries. In nearly every situation, we will release the animal on site. In the unusual event that the lynx needs further care, department staff will transport the animal to a veterinarian. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Maine is home to a growing lynx population and a rich trapping history. Maine is very fortunate to have both passionate and dedicated trappers that have been partnering with the Maine Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife for a number of years to avoid and minimize the chance of catching a lynx in their trap. Thank you for your continued partnership.